Chip. No, no, I feel like he's trying to poop. Body. channel i'm rachel and i'm david and i'm charlie 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 okay that's a little too much so we've had charlie for about two months now and he's now a four month old yorkie and there were so many things that we didn't know about as new puppy parents that we really want to share with you so if you're about to pick up your puppy, then stay tuned for what to prepare on the first day, potty training, crate training, and more. I can summarize this in four different categories. Food, bedding, potty, and travel. For food, it's important to first ask your breeder what kind of food your dog has been eating to minimize the transition when it gets to your home. So we bought the same kind of kibble that our breeder was feeding Charlie, and then we slowly transitioned him over to wet food once we got him. For the record, Charlie's already so excited the moment I opened the freezer, because he knows that's when he's about to be fed. So the kind of wet food that we got is this frozen raw food nugget, which is a mix of duck parts and different kinds of vegetables. Nice. So the way we introduced the food to him was by initially giving it to him as a treat, and then we mixed in a little bit with his kibble before finally transitioning to him entirely to the nugget. Okay, so the second category is bedding. So when I bought Charlie a bed, I decided to get him a unicorn bed, which has a covering on top instead of an open bed for him to lie on. And the reason is because I know that he's gonna be really small and I wanted him to have some sort of cover on top so it can minimize the amount of sunlight and the disturbance throughout the night when he's sleeping. And there's one trick that I did which let him sleep through the night on the first night. I put a PJ shirt that I have been wearing for the week inside the bed so it really helps him to sleep through the night because he already has my scent. So next, potty training, which is one of the most important parts for new puppy parents. So we started off by getting Charlie a pee pad and a pee pad holder, which for him was enough since he's such a tiny dog, and also getting some poop bags. But we didn't actually need to use the poop bags initially because he's such a small dog. Okay, so the last category of purchases is travel. So when I mean travel, first you need a travel carrier bag to carry your puppy from the breeder to go back home with you. Do you think that bag's gonna be big enough for him? I think it's gonna be a, a mansion. Two other things is when you need to walk your dog, you need to buy a leash and a harness or a collar. So I did a lot of research into what leash I need to get. There are so many types of leashes out there like fabric leash, leather leash, and also retractable leash as well. So when you have a new puppy, you should get a really short leash so you can have a really good control over where your puppy is going. So I decided to go with a leather leash instead of a retractable leash. There is also a lot of debate between getting a harness and a collar. So for Yorkshire Terrier, they have... Oh, hello! Mama. So for Yorkshire Terrier, they have really fragile neck just given their small structure. So getting a collar would be very dangerous, especially when you're holding him on a leash with a collar on. So we decided to get him a harness. So we were kind of lucky that our breeder already trained Charlie to pee on pee pads. And it's been less than 24 hours since Charlie's been home. And look at how many pee stains he's had. One, two, three, four, five. Five pee stains. Although he did still have an accident by pooing on my lap when we first got him. So because Charlie is such a small dog, we started off training him on a pee pad. So either every couple hours Daddy. or whenever he's awake from a nap, we will take Charlie Daddy. and put him onto the pee pad and sit there with him until he peed. So that way he knows mm -hmm. that the pee pad is where he mm -hmm. should be peeing. Good boy! Oh my god! Good boy! So Charlie used to still have a couple accidents like peeing on the carpet or on David's pants. And what we would do is we would spray the anti-odor repellent or what I find even more useful is to mix vinegar with water so he would know that there's a really strong scent at the place where he defecate and not do it again. So by reinforcing this behavior, after a few weeks, Charlie would walk by himself to the bathroom whenever he needed to pee or poop. Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Okay, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. 
So next, sleep training. So when you first get your dog, one of the most important things to train them to do is to be able to sleep through the night. So this is gonna depend a lot on your puppy. So we got very lucky with Charlie because he was able to already sleep through most of the night. Mm -hmm. So in order to sleep train Charlie, we first put him into a crate and then just turn the lights off. Now Charlie would whine for about five to 10 minutes, but you have to ignore that and just let him know that it's time to go to sleep. So after that, we set an alarm every few hours to wake up and put him to potty, again on the pee pad. And so then every couple of weeks, we would push back that timer by about 30 minutes or to an hour, until now where we're only really waking up once per night to put him to potty. So last, I wanted to talk about some puppy behaviors that we did not expect. First is zoomies. I didn't know what puppy zoomies were. Basically, it is the random burst of energy that they have from a range of 5 to 30 minutes where they would just run around the house and call or like bite things or growl and sometimes even bark as well for those first few nights when we had charlie we didn't know what he was doing and we just assumed that it, he was getting very excited to be at our house and we just played with him so the next thing that we experienced was puppies tend to have a lot of hiccups and they have dreams as well. So there were a couple of times when I caught Charlie in the sleep where he was having a very intense dream and he was sleeping right next to me and then some, all of a sudden he would do like hick, hick, hick for like five seconds straight. And that usually means he's in a very deep sleep mode and he's having a very intense dream. There were also times when he had a hiccup which has similar behavior as an intense dream. And then one other thing that we experienced with Charlie is because he's so small, um, he actually pukes on every single car ride when we first got him here. We would be driving for about 10 minutes and he, um, he wouldn't do very well in the car and it would puke. And then in the very beginning, it took us a while to figure out why he puked. We thought it was because of the elevator ride upset his stomach, but then later we found out it was the elevation when we were driving through the hills. So that is nothing to worry about. As Charlie grows up, he is having less and less puke <laughs> during car rides. So if it is really bad, then there's also some anti-nausea medicine which you can get your dog to take. And then last but not least, I've researched that Yorkies have really bad separation anxieties. For Yorkie puppies, it is recommended that they are not going to be separated with their owners for more than two to three hours. And for when they're an adult, that can go up to about four to six hours. Once I got Charlie, I slowly increased the amount of time that I had to be away from him to train him to be independent. For example, in the beginning, I would be gone for about two minutes to go downstairs to grab my mail to about five minutes to when I have to go down and get a coffee. So I'm taking another really quick break. This is the second time that I'm leaving Charlie in the house by himself. And the whole time shouldn't take more than like five minutes. Seems like someone just went to bed. Right? Look at how calm he is. So now David and I pretty much leave him for like up to four hours sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Charlie has had no accident at the house and no major damages in the house as well. So he's been doing really well. It's all about a matter of progression and training over time and also patience as well. Yeah, we really lucked out with Charlie because he was super easy to train in terms of potty, crate training and sleep training. So we haven't had a lot of really terrible nights. So I hope you enjoyed this video on what to expect as new puppy parents and hope this helps you prepare for you getting a puppy as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!